everyone. We are on location outside in beautiful, sunny Antigua and Barbuda. I'm Patrice Martin, and we are here at the UNESCO World Heritage Site, historically speaking, Nelson's Dockyard National Park. Now, as part of the Antigua Barbuda Hotels and Tourism Association's Unfailing, the hospitality series, I've met some pretty interesting people. One of them has actually introduced me to arts and craft, a career in tourism that she has had for the last 52 years, same age as her first son. We'll introduce you to these people and show you the many moving parts of arts and craft, tourism, right here in Antigua and Barbuda. Come along, the journey's gonna be a fun ride. Well, your government name, your right name is Louise. Louise, yeah. Okay. So, Louise. Everybody knows me as Louise. Everybody knows you as Louise. Yes. Sexy Sue <laughs> is the sexy name. Yeah. The business name. <laughs> the business name is yeah, Sexy wife, Sue. Yeah, because uh, yeah. everybody pass and they say, on your way back, remember Sexy Sue? Oh, it's a big laugh. Everybody right. remember Sexy Sue. Then they remember Louise. <laughs> then they remember Sexy Sue. We want them to remember Louise, too. <laughs> How long have you been a vendor doing this? Uh, you know, just always working arts and crafts and beads and so on. I'm doing this for over 50 years. Wow. That's this is long. my my life trade. From since I was about 18, 20 that age. You have a child, this is as old as your career, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, so you this has been your entire career. You've been doing this for a while. Uh, not for a while. A lifetime. Lifetime. So we're making a coaster today. Okay. What did I do? Yeah. I did okay. You did I well. Did okay. Oh, not okay. okay, you did well. Thank you. You did well I in the coaster. <laughs> So the coaster is one of the things that you can actually make from the wild tamarind seeds. You have many other things that you've made from the wild tamarind seeds. So introduce me to some of these things. Well, this is a placemat and this spells Antigua. Yes, I saw this and I quite like this. And when I went to England in December, I went to England on a trip. Mm -mm. I met a lady by the name of Barbara. Mm -hmm. She took me out of poverty <laughs> in COVID time. In COVID time when everybody went locked down, right. she ordered some stuff for me and so I could have get food on the table. Wow. And she, she organized a trip in December that I went to England at the Garden Museum and they had a fair where I carried my thing at an, an exhibit mm -hmm. and it happened so that um, I met the Queen, Camilla. Really? And I gave one of these bats. I put it. Not you, Louise. Yeah. You? No, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing that you would like tourists to know about Antique and Barbuda, especially for you, using wild tamarind seeds for your arts and crafts? One thing I would like to them to know, what I've been made is not from China. <laughs> It's from Antigua. Yes. And yes. I even keep like the pods, like this, again, like this pod. Yeah. So when they come, and so you even show this to I tourists when the they pod. come. Yeah, the, that's the pod that the seeds come from, and with the pod, and they see that they fascinating to know that the seeds grown right here, and they see the work being done here. Yes. Unique to Antigua and Barbuda. Yeah. All right, but Louise, you taught other people, other vendors who have gone off on their own and started their own business. Yes, I taught Lornet, I taught Agatha, Wiki, Giselle, and they tried to do it on their own and... They yeah, have their own business. Yes. So okay. they too are carrying they on They too with, carrying it on. And they were going to go and find a, find a few of those people there yeah, to talk yes, to. Yes, you can look around, you'll find them. All right. How long have you been in the business? Over 50 years. Over 50 years. Wow. And what's your name? Nelly Victoria. Nelly Victoria. Where'd you get this one? My mom. Where'd you get this name from? I love it. Victoria. Ah. You have earrings, bracelets, you have for the ankles. Oh, the anklets too. Wow. Yeah, and you have the necklace. Mm -hmm. Your red one is a jungle bead. You take the yes. red one and make coffee. Local oh. coffee. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's Nelly that's Victoria. That's yours. This is mine? <laughs> Thank you. I like this. Thank you very much. Yeah. And this is for the hand or the ankle? I guess that one is for the ankle. The ankle. Okay. 
Yeah. This is super nice. I love this. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Nelly Victoria. You're welcome, girls. Mm. So, uh, tell me how you got that name. Well, how I got the name, the number one hustler. I'm an entrepreneur. I do more than one little hustles. This is my main hustle. And sometimes you see me on the road directing the traffic. Sometimes you see me doing little vending on the road, selling vegetables and stuff. <laughs> That's where I know you're from. <laughs> I've seen the face. I mean, in Antigua and Barbuda, you must have seen yeah. every face at least one time. But tell me, how long have you been vending here? About four years. Um, I was down here with a friend in the early years, coming and help her do a little hustle and say, no, this is interesting, you know? So I just push myself and I push myself and I end up um, helping out another lady. We do half and half. I buy my little stuff and and I said, no, this is getting more interesting, you know? So I go about going to Docker, go to Anne-Marie, and then I said, no, I really want to go on my own. And so here am I, here I'm on are. my own, yes. Here you are. On my wow. own, doing my little thing, about four years with everything on my own last year until now. These necklaces, these um, anklets, mm -hmm. Hand chain, I make by myself when I'm at home. I okay. sit down, have nothing to do. I just sit down in the living room, make all these. And this, most of all, the belly chain that everybody's dying for. Your waist beads. We'll you know? keep that waist snatched. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you're able to travel and take your family travel, abroad. Yeah. Now, what would you recommend? What advice would you give to persons who are like, you know what? I see what she has done. She's grown her business from strength to strength over the years. What advice would you give to them about becoming a vendor? It's a good thing. And it, it helps you to, manu um, to do your own business and stuff like that to help yourself. In other words, it gets you to meet other people in different places, especially when people come to your shop and they shop. Especially, I have my little business card here. Yeah, I have one, please. Sure. Oh, no problem, that's what? my business card. The number East Collection, one the number one hustler. Yes. Yes. That's me. Oh, so, you know. One thing that you can remember that, that you would consider the greatest memory that you have from being a vendor. Okay, meeting people. Mm -hmm. And there's one, well, a lot of people that normally comes here mm -hmm. and out. And even when they go away and come back, they still remember me. Okay. And even though when the, visit, the visitors come, I say, come and have a look. I say, the more you buy is the less you spend. <laughs> and when you shop, you also get a free gift. Right. And guess what the free gift is? The bag that you put your stuff in, <laughs> that is it. So there's a way to it. Yes, yeah, so they it. always like come it. back. They yeah. always come back. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, if anyone wants um, maybe a nice hat, dresses, towel, the antique and towel, souvenirs, you can come down to Nikki's collection, the number one hustler at the Nelson's Dockyard. What an amazing time we had with the vendors here in the historic Nelson's Dockyard National Park. Now, this is uniquely Antiguan and Barbudan. So we're encouraging you, whenever you're out here, to come and patronize the vendors. They work really hard. They've gifted us some beautiful things. And this, of course, makes us proud to be Antiguan and Barbudan. Thank you all for watching.